I have been doing my feather work for 30 years. I started in 1986. I didn't know I could make a living selling things that I made, let alone feathers. The challenge in the beginning of my career was selling the work and getting it out there and getting people to acknowledge that feather art is a true art form. People were used to seeing bronze and paintings as fine art. Well, here I am with the feather art. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I think people choose my art because it's so different and that it's nothing like they have already in their house. The natural colors Mother Nature can only do. You can't paint some of these feathers. They are unbelievable to even my eyes, and I see them every day. My first mask workshop was in 1996. I got asked by the Seattle Art Museum to do a mask workshop for the black and white ball. These people at the time spent $200 for their ticket. They're in tuxedos and ball gowns. And here I am in the corner with this huge table with mask blanks and feathers and glue guns. I've never seen so many grown adults have such a good time. That gave me the idea of sharing my art and teaching workshops. The most enjoyable part of teaching workshops are seeing my students have fun. They love playing with the feathers I and mean, they're being exposed to a medium that they've never experienced. It's nice to see my students leave here happy. Being creative to me means not thinking about it. Just doing what your heart tells you, not what you think you're supposed to do. You just do what looks good to you. That's what I tell all my students. I'm Laura Lee Rose. My business is Feather Fantasies. Since nobody else does anything like this, I definitely stand out. <laughs>